for those of you who don't know, what is Rainmaker? Well, we decided a couple years ago that a lot of members that are coming into CodeCard aren't real familiar with credit card analysis statements. Probably the biggest hurdle you get when, when you get into this business on the card side is, is looking at someone's statement, all these different statements, and trying to figure out how you can save them money, what they're paying, and, it, it, and develop some sort of professional analysis. It, it, it can really be sort of a mind bender. And so we asked Pegasus a couple years ago, and uh, we were at an ETA show, and I said, Rick, look at this, they've got this um, thing where you just punch in these numbers and it's fixed it out, it's just an aggregate. And Rick goes, oh, I know about that. So we said, well, let's go to work. And he said, well, I need data first. I need, uh, and you're, they're gonna talk about how they do this, but that bottom line is they take every SIC and, 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 and they let cost leverage it out as far as how many debits, how many things. Bottom line is this, we needed to get that data. So we went to our processors and a couple of them said, no, we have no interest. Well, we went to uh, Transverse and Thesis and we said, hey, you guys have all this data. We could build this tool for our members that make it so easy to do cost analysis. Can you help us with this? And uh, and they did it. I mean, without them, this never would have been possible. But And with the Pegasus team here, we want to develop this, rain, we call it Rainmaker. And it's not proprietary to CoCard, but basically we, they're giving us a really good opportunity to use this because we helped with this data. And Rick and the whole team here, and uh, Errol is gonna show you, if you haven't seen it, gonna kind of give you an idea what this is. Then Saturday, if you're here on Saturday when we do our statement analysis, we're gonna pump a couple of these and do some live live shows here. So, Errol, I don't wanna to, to take too much more of your team. You're all set up? Uh, yes. All right, ready to go? Let's go. You're on. All right, well, my name's Daryl. I wanted to cover with uh, Rainmaker with you a little bit. It's basically a quick method for your sales agents to be able to uh, do a great analysis if they have a statement without spending eight hours with the spreadsheet. All right, so this little presentation right here. There's actually music behind it, but you don't have to do it in your head. This basically gives you an idea of what the concept of Rainmaker is all about. Sorry about the lack of sound effects. All right, so there's really two different ways that Rainmaker is designed to work. It's designed to work with pricing plans that you create with inside of Pegasus, or you can also have a very flexible method that allows you to do an interchange or, or to do an interchange pricing was simply using a set of sliders. Now this was actually ideas that some of you guys eventually, you know, uh, from feedback gave us that we decided to create this. So this was a very fast method for you to be able to provide different uh, interchange pricing just by simply moving the sliders and then seeing what you would expect to save your merchant as well as, uh, you know, what your agents could expect in their residuals. And we're gonna actually show you uh, well, the same things that an agent would do. I'm going to do that here uh, in a few moments and use Rainmaker and show you how quick it is. All right, so let's get started.
All right, so Rainmaker is located under the Merchants tab. So we simply come over here to Merchants and slide it down to Rainmaker. Give our merchant a name. And fill out all the other appropriate information, but that's not necessary for me for the purpose of this. Now, I'm going to do this using transfer as my processor. So it's going to go for transfer pricing plans that I've already built. So where do we get the information from for generating the appropriate figures? So we're going to take a look at a merchant statement. Okay? Here's our merchant statement we're going to use. And I've highlighted a couple figures here which don't project very well. Um, and they are the volumes for Visa, MasterCard, Discover and American Express. Okay. And those are figures that I'm going to enter into the uh, Rainmaker. And they're again duplicated down here at the gross amounts, including any credits. Because in this particular circumstance, this particular merchant is charged both for uh, not just on net sales, but on gross sales. So I mean, gross sales numbers. And so I have the gross sales numbers here. Also, the other part that you'll find on this particular merchant statement, right up here at the top, is an item called a processing fee. In this instance, it's two cents. So they're charging two cents per item. This is an interchange, this is telling me, this is an interchange markup statement. This is not a uh, tier or bill back or something of that sort. The other item that's, again, very difficult to see with this projection is that our processing rate for Visa, MasterCard, and Discover is point, or 25 points. The reason I chose this particular statement, though, that it has another interesting little aspect to it, it's not 25 uh, points across the board for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. It's 25 points for Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. Back, uh, American Express is 45 points. So what do you do in that case? Well, you have to figure essentially a weighted average to come up with the points that you would actually put in the basis. So you take the percentage of Visa MasterCard Discover against the total volume and multiply that by 0.25. Take the American Express volume divided by the total volume of Visa MasterCard Discover and American Express and multiply that by 0.45. Add those together, and that tells you how many points. In this case, the points is 28.4466. That's the average markup on this statement. Most of the time, it's going to be the same. It'll be the same markup, but not all of us. So that's how you do this. Of course, you can cover that in training and make the system. So the data is coming from this statement. Don't have to look at very many places to find it. Just those highlighted items. <coughs> so we enter our visa volume.
Now, you notice that there is a um, place here for Visa debit volume. I don't really care about the Visa debit volume at this point, and we did not put it, we didn't put a space in for MasterCard debit or for Discover debit, because it uses big data to parse these out. <coughs> so it actually is saying that the, the big data makes a determination of what percentage of the cards went to uh, Visa credit, qual. What percentage of the cards went to Visa mid qual. What percentage of the cards went to Visa non qual. What percentage of the card went to MasterCard, qual, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So the, the big data is parsing that particular part out. We put this in here because in some uh, statements, they actually separate it out. But we don't, in this case, we're just going to use zero because all we're going to do is add the two numbers together. actually a little faster than I am because oh, so you could do this on site on an iPad. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah tablet, any 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 internet connected device. You can device. do it on a phone. Not recommended, it, but you could. fees include interchange? Oh, is that including interchange? Everything? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The effective rate, yeah. They're total fees. They're yeah, it's, there. it's yeah. all, it's the, what did the merchant pay to the process? Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Same with Amex. So you got the new Alcalu all figured into this too? Uh, I'm sorry? So Alcalu? That's that you read? Well, in this case, we're doing an interchange to interchange. Okay? Leaving so, Amex out of the picture? So, well, actually, Amex is, is going to be in the picture, but we're, we're using the, uh, in this particular instance, what we're doing is we're using the uh, uh, the amount that's charged on here is just simply okay. markup. Gotcha. Anything else is considered to be interchange. Now, if someone has worked something with the interchange, mm -hmm. okay? Pegasus is going to see that as interchange. Mm -hmm. So, you know, part of it was also, you know, if you suspect something, then you, you have to, you know, look through the statement. Okay. And, and what, if, if it's part of the and it's part of the third party, you can do that as well. Right. So, 
So this is, this is a great tool. I mean, when you get an interchange statement, you can just look at the volume and they're at 30 basis points. Well, I'm going to do 15 basis points, 15, I'm going to save you $200. Well, this tool is great is when you get these statements that has all these weird ER billing or, or tiered. So you can just take their total fees. You can see their volume and then just take their total fees and you don't have to try to decipher this whole, uh, what, what, what bucket they're putting in with all these different rates and, uh, and then it converts to us. If most of us in the room do interchange plus pricing, then we do our pricing. Did you already stick in what we're going to price this merchant at? Darren? I'm sorry? Did you stick in what we're doing our pricing at here yet? Uh, well, I have, I have pricing plans built. Oh, so you just... Pricing plans are built into the system, so you go and calculate those and put those in, it just becomes part of your profile, so that you know based on the lock-in, a lot of those... But we price different merchants different on every deal, so... So you just go in and create, so before you do it, you can create your own, I'm going to price this merchant at 10, I might price some merchants at 10 basis points and some at 30. Yeah, definitely. You set that up, I always want to set up. And it's many different variables. Okay. 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 Um, let's actually switch that to the slides. See what's on the first slide. All right, so what it did this first time is it compared against existing pricing plans that uh, were already in the system. All right. Maybe get sliders and set calculator. Yeah. Okay. All right, here are the sliders. And by using the sliders, we can adjust the rate that's being charged for both the rate and the price per uh, item. So we just slide it down this way. All right, set that to uh, 28. Oh, I see. So we can look at the savings and say, hey, I don't want to save this merchant that much money. I got to make a little bit more money on it. So you slide that thing over a little bit, right? <laughs> right. Right. So I got margins. I can go up to 28 basis points. Yeah, I can slide those around to whatever I want within the parameters and range that is set up here, which is, I think, 500 points. So if your goal is to save you $500, you do that slide and say, okay, we can save you $500, but in whatever that comes out at is your margin. Right. right now you're at 28 basis points and 20 cents. 10 cents. Or 10. What are we saving them at that rate on this particular merchant? Well, in this particular instance against these existing pricing plans, um, you're actually, you're not making any money. You're losing money. Okay, so how about... So what you would do is, in your pricing plan, for instance, in the one that originally got set up for this, it's, um, it's set up at um, 20 points um, and $16.20 in charges like PCI fee and statement fee and so forth, $16.20. So if you set it, it, it set it at 28 points and set um, the sliders here at 28 points, you lose $16.20. Because you're charging exactly the same. As when you say I lose sixteen dollars, I mean it would cost the merchant. It would cost me. It, it would cost the merchant sixteen dollars yeah, and cents extra to go away. So we can, you, can I slide that the other direction? As you say, slide that thing. I got to come down eight down down twenty points. You'll save the merchant one hundred thirty-five dollars a month. Right. So okay. you can slide it either way to figure out what you need right. price is it. So sixteen. So you save them sixteen hundred dollars a year. And make yourself about four hundred dollars a month in a particular scenario for the factory on this particular version. Okay. But all right, now let's do a preview. So that's down to fifteen basis points. And now, now we're you're saving the version money. Right. I like that. So the merchant's money is being saved, and it gives them a good reason to go with you. So we set it essentially at the same basis points in your rate. But it's a nice presentation, and I don't know if you can read that language there, but if you look at the final sheet that is showing the customer the savings, 
there is some language there that says we've taken all this data. Okay. It kind of explains the how we came up with these numbers. Yeah, we saved you over three thousand nine hundred seventy-five dollars over a three-year period. Keep going down. It shows them their current rate, effective rate, and the new rate using your new pricing and how much you're saving per month. And then it says three percent. So this is a more professional statement. If you're going into a place, or you know what we're working on next, I, I talked to Rick about the ability to some of my salespeople, especially for sales point of sale. We do a two call close where we want to go in on our second call and show them how much money we're going to save them on their credit card processing by switching over to us, which will pay for your point of sale system. That's how we use credit cards. But having the next phase is hopefully be able to maybe go to a PDF and be able to print this out. Because right now it's all online, correct? Correct. At the uh, merchant, there's a button right here on this screen that allows the agent to simply send, a link. send an email, and that email is to the link on our server, and that this uh, you know shows up in a uh, you know nice little report for it um, with all kinds of graphics and so forth. Unfortunately, this screen is kind of compressed, so it's not showing all of the uh, graphic details and so forth that are available uh, in this particular report. But uh, it's a it's a pretty report with motion. I mean, if you slide your mouse over itself, it pops out and highlights up um, some animation so that they, you know you're saving more money, etc. Um, if you have any other questions, Pegasus is set up there at the table. I mean, we're kind of right on the schedule here, but they're gonna, they're also going to talk a little bit more about boarding tools. So if you, if you do have a couple questions, just just go see them, talk to them at the table, and also talk to them about how to get. Do you have to be signed up for this or how, how do I do I need to go through Leah how do I have access to Rainmaker yeah you've got how what do I call Rainmaker what do I dial what do I hit that yeah. merchants Rainmaker we, we do have to do the background setup yeah there, how do I get set up what's your Pegasus your Pegasus login my Pegasus login so if you don't